So far, I have been trying out antenna designs built and tested by radio amateurs worldwide. I have been hearing of antenna modeling software while reading about most of the designs but never ventured to have a look at one. As ARRL puts it, antenna modeling was the domain of scientists and engineers with expensive antenna ranges covering acres of land along with expensive equipment. But now, with ubiquitous availability of personal computers and antenna modeling software, it has become a popular amateur radio activity. Antenna modeling gives you advanced information even before you start building your antenna like feed point impedance, SWR and radiation pattern in three dimensions. Having experienced tough time tuning three of my VHF UHF antennas in the past few months, I thought of looking at antenna modeling software before beginning to assemble my new VHF UHF dual band single feed point antenna by DK7ZB design. Downloaded SNEC Pro Plus 7.0 which is now free even though without support as the author W7EL has retired. Printable manual in PDF format was also downloaded for easier reading on computer screen. SNEC Pro 2 Plus version 7.0 which I have installed has a built-in NEC2 calculating engine. It can also use external NEC 4.2 and NEC 5 calculating engines. Hence, SNEC is an interface for the numerical electromagnetic codes NEC developed by several people over the years funded by the US government. I have not purchased any of these external NEC versions though the author has recommended purchasing NEC 5. The built-in internal calculating engine in SNEC Pro 2 Plus V 7.0 is a modified version of NEC2 available in public domain. This is the initial screenshot which comes up when you open SNEC software from your desktop. As I was new to the software, I started off with the help menu at the top right corner. I read through the help file till I reached the test drive introduction and then the along the straightway page. That is the page where an initial test drive of a 20 meter dipole antenna is described. Clicking on open menu takes you to the directory in which sample antenna files are stored in your computer within the SNEC directory. For a test run of the 20 meter dipole antenna, the file named dipole1 can be opened and the instructions in the help menu followed. I wanted to try out the VHF section of the planned dual band single feeder Yagi to simplify the learning process. I changed the name of the antenna from dipole in free space to 4 element VHF Yagi by clicking on the antenna name and typing in the dialog box and clicked OK. Next I clicked on frequency and changed it to 145.990 MHz the uplink frequency of amateur radio on International Space Station which I have been able to work maximum times so far and clicked OK. Immediately the frequency and corresponding wavelength appeared on the main SNEC screen as 145.99 MHz and 2.05351 meter respectively. Next I clicked open the wires menu and changed the default diameter of the wire from 1 mm to 9.3 mm of the aluminum pipe which I had planned for the antenna. The display in the field was initially red in color which changed to black after saving using print save wire list from the other menu. Next I accessed add in the wires sub menu. Entered 4 in the number of wires to add dialog box 
as I was planning for a 5 element VHF Yagi. Place in the list above the wire was left as the default 2 and clicked OK. Immediately a warning appeared in red color that the wires have 0 or near 0 length. The number of wires in the main display changed to 5 wires 55 segments. Next I changed the y axis dimensions of wire 1 to half the measurement shown in design for the reflector element with N1 being negative and N2 being positive. Similarly dimensions of other wires were also added. Each time there was error display mentioning that remaining wire lengths were zero. Next error display was that wires were overlapping. This was taken care of by changing x axis dimensions to position of the elements on the boom. Exited the wires menu after saving from the other menu as before. Just to know my progress in the use of SNEC, I clicked on FF plot in the main screen meant for the far field plot. I got a display as shown on the left side of the screen. I changed the color of the primary trace using the colors option in the options menu and then using total field. Immediately I could understand that I have far from succeeded as the azimuth plot was nothing like that expected for a 5 element Yagi. Front to back gain was shown as 0.22 dB which is obviously not what is expected. This was the view of the antenna generated by clicking on view ant. It shows the antenna along with a display of x, y and z axis though this is a single plane antenna. In first look of the SNEC software I have gone wrong at possibly multiple places. When I had a look at the sample file for 20 meter 5 element antenna there were 55 wires and 95 segments while my 5 element VHF antenna had only 5 wires and 55 segments. Obviously something grossly wrong in my methods. Decided to go through the help file in a little more detail and troubleshoot.